What is up you guys? It's your girl Tecmana and today we're back with another video. Woo -woo. Before we get into this video you guys, I have a huge announcement. I am doing a giveaway, a sublimation starter pack giveaway that comes with all the supplies you need to make your very own phone case, okay? I'm talking about the cases, sublimation cases, the paper, the ink, everything, okay? So I only have two rules. The first rule, you must be following me on Instagram. And the second rule, you must be following me on my Pinterest. Um, both of those social media links are down below. If you search Tech With Nat on Instagram with a H, and a T H, And if you search Tech With Nat on Pinterest as well, I should come up. But if you can't find it, the links are directly below, okay? So once you finish those two, make sure you comment done. So it can be easier to help pick one of you guys for this giveaway, definitely. So I'm gonna give you guys like maybe should I do two months or one month? I was thinking maybe at the end of summer I can pick someone. That way it gives you guys a lot of time to, you know, make sure you follow my social medias. And then um, it is a fair, fair win. So I'll give you guys until like the end of summer, August. I'll definitely be picking a winner. And um, I'll contact you and everything and get your information. I'm going to go live and pick the winner so you guys can, you know, share that moment with me. Period. <laughs> Let's get into this video. Today, you guys, we're going to be talking about my phone case business story. I'm going in depth, honey, like let you guys know of my failures, um, my successes, things I might want to do different if I start all over again. So change of scenery, I'm literally in my bathroom, y'all, because I'm about to take out my little knots um, while doing the story for you guys. So it just don't be boring of me just, you know, talking to you guys. So all right, y'all, so first thing first, I started my phone case journey back in 2018. I believe 2018. I don't know what possessed me. I think because I work in tech, I was just like, oh, I should start selling tech accessories or whatever. Because I honestly, I was kind of going to Best Buy, going to Best Buy, I'm not seeing the cases, like cute cases. So that will like, that's what kind of like inspired me to actually, um, do I think this like this? Or should I unloose this? I'm just unloose it. Anyway, I just don't see how this is gonna be distracting. All right, I'm gonna try to keep it together though. If you see me looking this way though, it's cause the mirror is right there. But yeah, like I said, I started my focus business in 2018. And when I started, it really wasn't a phone case business. I was just trying to do a lot of tech accessories at once. So I had like my iPhone cases, my Android cases, AirPod cases, iPad cases, like every electronic I was trying to provide um, cases for. So that was like my failure number one that I should not have done. I should have just stuck to like one, like how I have now, my stuff is like mostly iPhone cases, period. If you have an, another electronic, we ain't carrying it right now until, you know, I get bigger or whatever. So when I started, there was literally like no videos about phone case business on here. And that's what, that's basically what motivated me to start my YouTube channel. Because I'm like, I know this ish is not on YouTube. <laughs> Cause I was searching and searching and I couldn't, I think I found like one video and that's, that was it to be honest. So how I started my journey to begin with, I wasn't even making cases by then. I was just had like basic trendy cases, generic cases. I see selling them maybe like on Amazon or like um, other boutiques were um, selling them as well. So I decided to find like a vendor overseas. And at the time my vendor wasn't like Alibaba, AliExpress or anything. It was like this vendor I found on DHK. First I ordered like so much inventory. Like I literally still have that inventory until this day. Some of that inventory until this day. Because I ordered so much inventory. So that's my second failure. My second I shouldn't have done. But with that method, I kind of use that method with you know a couple months in. I was just kind of like advertising on Instagram mostly. You know, TikTok wasn't born then. Okay. <laughs> I was mostly um, advertising on Instagram and just showing people like um, my cases or whatever. But what was irking me, irking my soul, is that I will go on to like, you know how like Instagram kind of like recommends other pages based on like um, pictures or whatever. So if you have like a picture of a product, if another shop is selling that same product and have like pictures up, they will like literally put you in a category and and like a customer or regular person if they're looking at my picture with the case and maybe scroll a few times or on the explore page they will see that same case selling from another shop or whatever so that kind of annoyed me a little bit because 
it was like it was easy to find other stores selling the same ish as me okay let's put it as that so there was like no uniqueness to me i was just basically like another seller on amazon you know how you go on amazon and it's like oh which one do i pick and then you go based off of reviews or whatever the price or whatever so that's how it was for like a couple months and then i was like i can't really do this like that <laughs> anyway um yeah that went on for a couple months and then i was like oh, i can't really do this like i need some uniqueness and then um that's when i went into my luxury inspired phone cases <laughs> if you haven't watched my video about that and how that whole drama went down and everything that went down make sure you go watch it i'm gonna um, link it right above here and then make sure you come back period <laughs> for a while that was my most that was my most top selling that's kind of what took off my business to be honest because that was my most top selling cases and i think people like like the fact that they could have bought the luxury inspired case for like a cheaper price than it would have been you know going to the actual company or whatever so a lot of people stopped buying like my luxury inspired cases and then um my one of my pinterest pins actually went viral on um pinterest so that's where i got most of my sales from too so that really kind of um took off my business until <laughs> so everything was going good from that time until um yeah you have to go watch a video to see like what happened and why i stopped doing that or whatever so yeah <laughs> so now so now that was like a stage two of my business stage one with me selling basic cases stage two of me selling like the luxury aspire ones and then that whole thing happened so i had to so i stopped selling those and then i'm like damn like what am i gonna do like i don't want to go back to the basic cases it wasn't really selling yeah so i decided to sell um custom cases when i was doing custom cases i haven't really seen anyone doing it as yet maybe like one or two companies so i was like you know what i'm gonna just try this custom cases thing and see how i want to say one or two companies i mean like one or two like small businesses not like you know the bigger companies or whatever like i i name it no names but you guys know that whoever used to sell custom cases for like a lot of money like 50 dollars an extra with that um when i started to do the custom cases the problem with that is i used to drop ship the custom cases well not drop ship i used to drop ship to myself and then send it out to my customer and the problem was that is it used to take forever like well not forever ever but for like a good three to four weeks and that is a long time for a customer to wait for you know one product okay like it wasn't wholesale or anything but they're just waiting for one product thankfully i had some good customers who said hey i'm gonna wait because the quality of your cases is amazing it looks amazing so i'm gonna wait and not not really have a problem with it i did have some uh, bad customers as well too that was like i don't want to wait or whatever so they usually um, basically like either ask for a refund or dispute it with their bank i hate people who dispute stuff for the bank i'm just like just ask me for a refund well if your case if your case is already submitted like if i submitted your picture and everything to the vendor and he already um make it made it i wasn't giving refunds and like all of that was like explaining my shipping policy and like the problem with that is like people wasn't reading my shipping policy because i was i told the truth there like i literally told the truth and was like hey um you know your case is gonna take like three to four weeks if um if you order from me or whatever people seem to a lot of people seem to not mind so that was going pretty good for a while and then until p happened you guys know what i'm talking about like this whole thing happened where like everyone started getting sick and blah, 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 like that i can't say the word but yeah so i will never forget I had like a hundred i had a huge sale for it must have been for i forgot what holiday was i think want to say fourth of july um during that holiday and um people like i, ha I had to have like a hundred plus orders or whatever so <laughs> i'm thinking yay this is amazing so i've submitted like this huge order to my vendor 
um they get it made and everything because they usually send me like pictures of all the cases they make like right afterwards and then there was amazing vendor the problem was um how long it took to get from overseas to you know united states or whatever so yeah that was the major problem or whatever so with that being said because of all the shipping issues and everything that was happening at that time that large large very large order that i made with my vendor what ended up happening is um a package got lost and i'm like oh my god <sighs> why will you do this to me god why <sighs> so with that package got lost not only it was lost too it was like they couldn't uh, find it like they didn't find it until like a good I want to say like a month and a half later and that's when it arrived to me and by then I already had give back um give people back so much refunds you know so 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 many refunds so at that time um it's nothing I can do because they're custom cases so they I can't resell it or anything so there's literally nothing I can do with those cases and like up to this day I still use like those cases for like um like uh my content if i'm creating content on like instagram or TikTok or whatever i will use if i don't have like any content from my recent orders i will use um those cases that i no longer can use okay <laughs> okay i'm back so like i was saying like after that stage three with me you know trying that whole drop shipping thing with the custom cases i was like yo I need to be my own vendor because obviously at this time during that time especially um i could not depend on my vendor like that and i couldn't depend on like the shipping how long shipping was going to take so i was like i need to make my own custom cases and with that being said I tried to look on youtube once again and didn't really see much videos but at that time too people was using them um sublimation cases that i didn't like that was nothing like the cases i was um selling it's like the, the metal sublimation cases i'm gonna put a video up here so you guys can see so i really didn't like those cases and i thought for a minute too that those are the only cases that could be sublimated until i was able to dig deeper i went to like a youtube rabbit hole to be honest i saw that the cases that i was selling um directly and it came up the video must have been like from like five years ago and it was actually an overseas um person showing how um to sublimate the cases <laughs> so i saw that video i was like hmm that's how that's how the case that's how my vendor make the cases like that looks pretty easy still didn't really become my own vendor until like months after until i was comfortable enough to actually make the own cases so between that time it was a lot of trial and error a lot of applies i'm wasting because i'm going through so much so much so much um trials and mostly errors <laughs> so uh that's why i say when um people ask me like oh can you t can you tell me your like exact temperature your exact techniques and everything for free i'm like girl gotta make some of this money back so if you want like the detailed detail um sublimation uh how i sublimate my cases and i'm gonna put a video here if you're new here if you haven't seen what cases i'm talking about these are like my sublimated cases that i use i don't really like the other ones that has a big black you know ugly thing by the camera i like these nice and plain ones so <laughs> if you're interested in sublimating on your own as well i do have a course in the description box below but anyway back to the story <laughs> So after months of trial and errors and what happened was I felt very comfortable enough to actually make my own phone cases and by this time now I literally like blew through like the money I had for my business by this time so I actually had to make another investment again into my business but this time this investment was in regards to me actually buying like the raw supplies so I can be my own vendor period <laughs> okay so with that i was able to you know have um most of the iphone formation cases on hand 
an Android. Android, I was kind of still drop shipping. Oh, I will buy like one, one or two series of Android, and I have those on hand as well. So I was able to provide a faster, um, what do you call it? Be able to provide a faster service to my customers and they some of my customers who actually kept with me over the years they noticed a huge difference in the shipping and processing time so they was pretty happy for me like becoming my own vendor or whatever so that is how <laughs> my channel was born actually too as well because i'm like oh my gosh i need to do some kind of tutorial on youtube because i literally had no videos little to none videos showing me um, exactly what to do whatever so that's how I came up with my YouTube channel so I can help you guys literally start your phone case business if you want to be your own vendor show you how to make the phone cases and if you don't want to be on your own vendor I um, actually provide my actual vendor that I used to use and I have that in my vendor list or whatever in the description box below yeah so with that now with my you know beautiful sublimation cases <laughs> that's already setting me apart from the rest and also my fast fast shipping time um, it's like an amazing plus that I have for my business so that really worked out for me and that really helped me pick my business pick up more momentum those two honestly um, that's how I was able to you know get my business back on track and then after that I invested in like in my packaging and like my packing supplies, making content, social media, Pinterest, TikTok, um, Instagram. So that really helped as well too. And then boom, you have a successful phone case business. So I really hope this inspired you to, you know, either kind of show you what not to do in the beginning <laughs> so you don't have to waste time and money like me. And then you can just dive right in to you know creating your own phone case business and if you want to be your own vendor too you have a lot of resources now definitely <laughs> to um see how to like create the actual cases but yeah you guys i'm gonna finish loosening up my hair because i have lots to do as you can see as you can see but i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and make sure to check out the description box to you guys because i have so much stuff like my ebook my phone case business ebook that will help you definitely get you on the right foot to start your phone case business as well as my e-course i'm showing you how to supplement your phone case and my vendor list is in the description box below too as well so make sure you check it out okay period <laughs> but thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you guys in another video Bye. Make sure to subscribe. Okay, bye.